All right, so we're playing Cause and Effect, but on the Iron Dragon, because, oh, wow, I can actually say the name of the map this time. Last time we played, I called it the Iron Giant because I'm just an absolute genius. When a zombie spawns, give a random gobble gum. Okay, so we instantly spawn with a, uh, a killjoy. Okay, can't necessarily complain. Insta kills on round one. I did actually turn effect stacking off because someone in the comment section, well, first suggested this map, and second, they suggested that I turn it off for a video, so I thought, yeah, why not? It's slightly slower paced, but you know, it'll still be fun. Uh, when a player gets a headshot, an earthquake occurs. Oh boy. Thank God that's only for one round, huh? God, it's nice to be back on this map. Derizon Drak 2.0. Spawn in the next insta kill because we might as well. This map has to be literally like one of the best of the year so far. When a player swaps weapons, gain 100 points. Okay, so actually we want to go ahead and buy, I guess, the S cargo because, yeah, we can just keep on <laughs> getting points. Okay. Oh, there's 2,000 points. Oh, 2,500. <laughs> this is so goddamn broken. I mean, like, I want to keep doing it, of course, but it does take quite a long time because it's only 100 points. So let's get to, like, I don't know, enough points to open up the entire map, more or less. Oh my god, I got double points. Does it actually... Oh, it doesn't count. That's so sad. All right, I'm bored. Let's just go on to the next one. <laughs> when a zombie dies, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. Okay, so zombies this round are just going to be quite strong. But we have enough points to basically go and open up the whole map, which, to be honest, that was kind of good because, like, eh, it really does take a long time to get through this map. There are a lot of doors. Got the first dragon up here. I'm just going to look for the shield part. I know spawn is like right here. Open that landing pad. Let's go for a spin of the mystery box as well because, you know, we're right here. So we've got the MP40. All right, I'll take it. Ah, here we go. It's right here. All right, now I spend 10 years filling up this dragon. MP40 looks pretty damn cool though, I'm not going to lie. Really does have that Origins feel using this weapon. I was kind of hoping the MP40 would be on Derizon Drak when it released, like back in December 2016, but alas, it didn't. All right, first dragon's done. Next one we go, I believe it's left, right? Yep, right here. I'm actually going to go and open up the doors and stuff before we do that, because we have a lot of points. And power is right through here, so you know, fuck it, we might as well. All right, turn on the power. I'm going to buy stamina up so we can actually get around the map a bit faster. Also go through here, grab the next orb. I'm going to take us right back here. I forgot about that. I just realized we've got the MP40 out of the box and it's literally, a, there's a wall buy for it right next to it. That's hilarious. All right, let's check here for the shield part. I know one can spawn around the middle area. Anything over here? Not sure. We've got the next portal here though. Get the lightning orb. Since we're actually here, let's go and get the next one to go all the way through the sewer. All right, go through here. Boom, and that's the last orb. And since Jug is right here, we're going to go ahead and buy it straight away. Not going to take any risks, bro. I ain't going down stupidly. I forget where the next part is, but I think there's a spawn for it around here. Like right up here? Yeah, I thought so. Well, let's go up here, actually, because the orb room is right around this corner. So might as well pick up double tap as well. And we're just about exhausted of all our points now. But anyway, all orbs done. Now we just need to fill this up with souls. Let's actually do this now, then, instead of doing the... Uh, the bow, I guess, first. Doesn't matter what order you do. Patiently waiting 50 years for the zombies to walk on over. All right, round done. When a zombie dies to a grenade, a random perk is lost. Okay, well, good thing we ain't using our uh, grenades then. I said last time I wanted to use the KVK or the AN-94. So, you know, fuck it, we'll buy it now. I love the AN-94, great weapon. This is the BO4 version. So, you know, it was nice that they brought the AN-94 back. I think they brought it back in BO3 multiplayer, unless I'm completely tripping out, but I don't remember ever, like, using it. It was a DLC, like, or black market weapon. It has such a fast fire rate, I love it. When a player reloads, wall by price are randomized. You know, I wish I knew that before because I could have possibly bought this for a bit cheaper, but oh well. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Also, if you couldn't tell, I am still a little bit sick, but I think to be honest, now it's more hay fever because my flu thing has pretty much gone. I just felt really rough for about 48 hours and didn't have much of an appetite, but after that, I felt pretty much fine. It was just like having a regular cold. Like the sore throat was a bit of a bitch, but eh. It was more just a lack of energy, and obviously I went away that weekend as well, so it just meant that I didn't have time to get a video up on the Sunday, and I had to get like a really short one for the Saturday. But hopefully that won't happen again in the future for a long time. I'm actually going to be moving into my dad's place fairly soon, so like, if there is slightly inconsistent videos, that will probably be why. But for now, it should be okay. Right, stop making noises. Does that mean it's done? Yep. Hey, give me the summoning key place it over here and now we've got the packet punch open but i want to go and work on finishing those 
fucking dragons. We can also build the shield, which is great. I'm probably not going to do the Easter egg this video because we did it last one and it does certainly take a bit of time. What I will do though is buy speed cola. Thank you for the no perk limit, or I think it's five perk limit maybe, but I don't remember actually. Oh, we've got a part here. Ah, there we go. Well, now we can build the shield. Awesome. I'm going to build it here, unlike in the boss fight room, because obviously if we're not doing the boss, we don't really need to worry about it. If you haven't checked out this map, though, I highly suggest it. It'll be linked in the description, of course. It's basically, if you don't, if you can't, like, afford to pay for the Ryzen Drug, which, and it's like $5, so I don't know why you wouldn't be able to, but this is literally just a free version that's equally as good. There's a really cool Easter egg. I'd say the final ending for the Easter egg isn't quite as cool, but it's still nice. When a perk is purchased, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay, so alternate ammo type. I guess if we hit the Wonder Fizz. Oh, dragon's done. Perfect timing. Okay, let's go and do that next one. Where is it? Oh, it's the other side, isn't it? I always mix the left and the right side up. All right, here we are. Last dragon, then we can get a bow. It's a really awkward place to train, but you know, eh, we should be fine. Thankfully, the dragons only need like six kills each, which is pretty nice. Maybe, maybe it's like eight, but it goes by pretty quickly. And they actually give you a little spot that you have to stand in to actually get the kills, which is nice. It gives you an indicator of the range you have to be in. God, there are quite a lot of zombies here right now. Jesus. I'm trying my best not to go down. Ugh. Maybe we can kill a few because we don't need all of them. God, this fucking AN94 is absolutely shredding them. All right, there we go. Dragon is finally done, which means we can go and pick up the bow from, uh, where the fuck is it? <laughs> Brain. Uh, ah, here it is. I was wondering where I was going. Right now, let's go and shoot the goddamn orb. I'm gonna go for the wolf bow because it's the coolest one. God, I missed. Am I stupid? Oh, I don't have to do that yet. Oh, my brain is just absolutely massive. I have to go shoot the paintings first, or well, shoot the first one, which I believe is right over here. Shoot you. Boom, done. Second one is over here. And for the, f for the third time, I'm... Okay, good, I actually... Held F on it instead of shooting it. Did that in both my previous Iron Dragon videos. Or both playthroughs that I had of it anyway. This is the third one. Starting to learn the layout of the map a little bit better. Go through here, get to the bow place, and then it is down here, I think. Yep, final one. Boom, done. Now, if I remember correctly, what do we have to do again? I forget if we have to go all the way down here to go and do the thing. There's like a... No, oh, the shovel thing's not ready yet. Oh, we have to pick up the... Ah, okay, it was in here. My, my memory wasn't too terrible, at least. God, my hay fever's been slightly worse than usual this year, which is just a bit annoying. I mean, I don't usually have hay fever, but being a bit of a bitch, to say the least. Okay, I think we have to shoot this flag up here. That's this step, I believe? Okay, there we go. I'm remembering. And then we take this head down to the sewer. Oh, and I need fucking money. Of course I need money. Oh, well, next round. When a grenade is thrown, activate a random gobble gun effect. Okay. <laughs> The grenade just turned into a fucking carpenter. Okay, next one. Um, what was that? That was an insta kill, but it wasn't an insta kill. What? And again? What is? What is that? That one gave me sixteen hundred points. Oh, and it ended the round. <laughs> okay, then when a player earns a hundred plus points, the active weapon gets random attachments. Okay. Well, I mean, thank you for ending the round. Now I have the points to go and do this. That was such a weird one to get, but hey, it worked out. Right now we interact with this, it gives us a shovel, we go back through here, literally just going back and forth through the fucking sewer. Interact with this, and we should get the arrow, and it's just as simple as that for the wolf bow. Okay, now we place it in here and just get some kills, and we're done. Now I have to stand pretty close to this for it to actually count, but still, I just, oh, this whole map is just so awesome. Like, look at the statues. Feels like a BO4 map, it really does. Now, I think we need like 20 kills, so maybe by the end of this round we should have it. And then we can just go through with killing until, you know, we get to whatever round. I'm hoping we get some cool cause and effect things. Oh, when I get a nuke. Oh, just brilliant, you know? When a perk is purchased, player's ability to sprint will toggle. Oh. Again, thank god effect stacking isn't on right now. When a player swaps weapons, a random perk is lost. That was a dog round, so it just went by really quick. <laughs> okay, so I need to not swap my weapons. <laughs> I really do not want to lose my speed cola, man. Is it going to count as swapping a weapon if I pick up this next bow? I swear to god, it's going to do it, isn't it? Oh, the noise stopped. Does that mean it's finished? I think it does. Hey, there we go. Pick up the wolf. And we didn't lose. Oh, we did. We lost Jug! Why did it take my Jug? That's so fucking annoying. Whatever, dude. We got the, the bow. It's fine. We just have to go and buy it back at the end of this round. Like, the wolf bow is aesthetically so fucking cool. I definitely think it's the my favorite one of all of them. It's not like any bow is particularly bad. Like, 
Even the Void Bow, I know it kills very slowly, but it does still kill. And it's pretty, like, aesthetically awesome. Okay, there we go. When a player loses 300 plus points, ability to sprint will toggle. Okay, well, I'll go buy my jug then. And just be unable to sprint real quick. That's cool. Trying to fucking remember where I'm going. Oh, God, we got a fucking panzer. I seem to remember being in this corner last time that happened. Where is he? Oh, there you are. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, one shot him. Okay, that's quite OP. All right, given this electric cherry, might as well. Even though the bow doesn't have a reload, it's fine. So yeah, now we'll just go wherever the fuck we want, I suppose. I do still want to pack-a-punch this KVK. Even non-pack-a-punch though, like, what is it, like a two-shot headshot? Maybe three-shot? Definitely not bad at all, considering, you know, round 12 and all. I think on BO2, the AN-94 was like the best non-wonder weapon, like, bullet gun. Oh, death machine time. Yeah, piss easy round. Like, look at how long this bridge is, and I can just fire it from here so any zombie just gets in the way. Doomed. What the hell is the last zombie? Did it just decide to hide because it knew it was screwed? Oh, here you are. When a gumball is eaten, orientation slightly changed. Okay, I mean, you know, it's not bad, but it's nothing crazy. Let's do a little challenge. Let's try and survive this entire round, or a few rounds, just up here. Because look at this view. Look at that, bro. That just looks stunning. The whole castle view like that. Yeah, we can just snipe them from up here. Even with just the KVK, we should be fine. I might pick up Deadshot because, you know, it's like actually the BO4 Deadshot, which would be nice. Seems like they all come from over there. So like none of them are spawning up here. Interesting. This would be a decent camping spot, I suppose. If we had like the lightning bow. I mean, even with the wolf bow, it's still good, you know. The wolf bow is basically, if you've never played Derizon Drak, this bow is essentially the thunder gun where you shoot it when you, where you hold charged shot and anything just in that direction will completely get blown away. The thunder gun has a bit more of a larger like radius, but any zombies around the explosion will get knocked down, which is nice. When a player takes damage, player's gun gets a random AAT. Okay. So, I mean, we want to actually go pack a punch then because we can get a free alternate ammo type. Hopefully we get like dead wire. I can find where the hell I am going. That's the question uh, up here. Yeah, up towards pack a punch. Go up these stairs. Ta-da, boom, easy peasy. Oh, and look at that camo on the AN-94 as well. All right, take damage. What did you give me? Thunderwall, I'll give you another one. Turned, I mean, turned ain't bad, but ideally something better. Fireworks, turned again. Dead wire, there we go. Now we have to actually keep it this round by not taking any more damage, so... Right now, there should be like one zombie left. Where is he gonna be? Oh, we'll enable this landing pad. I think it's you. Yep, there we go. When a player loses a thousand plus points, speed, speed is randomized. Okay, we can actually manipulate this because it doesn't last permanently. Well, I don't know. I think it might change the speed for the entire game. We've got a dog round. We're gonna do this quickly. So if we go and buy the Wonder Fizz machine, go away, dog. Which should be... Yep, yeah, it's up there. Okay, if, as long as we don't get cucked with... Being really slow. Oh, yes, of course. We're really, really slow. We got dead shot. Okay. Not bad. Hopefully, this next one makes us really fast. Yes, there we go. Meal kick. Actually, not bad. So, yeah, how fast do we run now? See, this is like Cold War stamina, sort of, I think. But that's just hoping that it actually lasts past this round. All right, there we go. Max ammo. Well, let's see, shall we? Running, running. Please don't slow me down. I think it did, dude. Oh, that's so tragic. When a player takes damage, player take one damage what? Uh -huh. so i just take one extra damage i suppose from all hits i mean fair enough but you know it's a bit weird oh we've got a panzer spawning hey what's up my boy bye bye <laughs> oh another one you wanted to just get one shot as well did you <laughs> oh that's hilarious oh one thing we can actually do is we can get the ragnarok dg4 open this door because we have to go up here oh, i gotta open this door as well and then open this door. So many doors in this map. But I think if we do, is it the first one three times? Oh no, that looks like a D. Okay. So it's two. That's a G. Okay, and then we do the last one three times, I think. One, two, three. There we go. So you have to type out DG4 and it will open this gate. And then we get access to all three of the DG4 parts. They're literally just all over here in little boxes and yeah now we can build that so that's cool the uh, insta kill spray and pray when a player swaps weapons gain a hundred points let's go fuck it dude why not and we can open up this of course the landing pad just you know makes things much easier where do we want to build the dg4 i don't actually know where the buildable benches oh fucking hell hello dog <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, hello again with the fucking people. Oh, there's one in the, the Origins Church, which again, by the way, the fact we spawn in the Origins Church is just awesome. Here we go. Let's build it. DG4. And I mean, let's use it straight away, you know? Fuck it, dude. Bang! One of the coolest wonder weapons of all time. Slamming around like a maniac. You just feel so powerful when you use it, you know? And the fact that you can place it down and it just creates like this gravitational field you can stand in and be defended. Very, very, very neat. Definitely one of the better specialist weapons. I think the best one is definitely the Skull of Nan Sapwe from Zetsubo no Shima, but the Gauntlet from Garod was also really, really cool. Like, specialists were just done so much better in BO3 than in BO4. Like, spawning in with them is too much, you know? It's too much of a power creep boost. You can't spawn in and be instantly broken, otherwise it just ruins the fun, in my opinion. When a player earns 100 plus points, players take one damage. Okay. Again, with the, uh, the taking one damage thing. Okay, we can finally open this landing pad. So yeah, this just allows us to take us uh, the, 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 to speak is a, apparently a thing. Back up to Packet Punch, where we can uh, train around the death ray if we want to. I will say one of the better parts of BO4 is the hit markers. I do quite like the orange hit markers. They're quite nice for like hitting a headshot or a kill or whatever. But outside of that, you know, there's not many systems in BO4 that I was a big fan of. I suppose Carpenters being stronger is one of them. Like, I, I do really like the fact that Carpenters refresh your armor, or I guess your shield. When a player loses a thousand plus points, ability to toggle, ADS will toggle. Okay, I mean, again, kind of niche and not really that useful. Oh, Panzer Soldat. How does the AN-94 do against you? See, just a bullet sponge, but we still managed to one clip him, which is good. Oh god, we got two. Oh fuck, I'm actually gonna pull out the bow. You! Alright, I think we killed him. Oh, hello! There's one more! What's up, bro? <laughs> Panzer jump scare. I mean, it was a little bit scary, but at the same time, they're just so weak. I do like that they spawn more in solo, because on Derizon Drug, you'd only ever get one in solo, unless you kill it really fast. I mean, I think it can spawn another one shortly after. But typically, no, it will just spawn one on solo. This, you get like three, four even. I wonder if on the really high rounds, if you just get like 20, that would be quite hilarious. They just, they feel more like armored zombies, which someone said in my comment section that it makes more sense because when you think about it, they're wearing this really heavy armor. So they shouldn't be able to like just sprint at you and one shot you kind of thing and be really, really fast. But the fact they're a little bit weaker is nice, because they deal quite a bit of damage, so... When a player slides, active gun toggles being papped. Okay. We're on round 20. We've still not had any, like, game-breaking ones. I just slid. Oh my god, it unpacket punched my gun! God damn it. It's fine. We just slide again and get it back anyway, but... <laughs> it's getting trolled, dude. Alright, max ammo. At least it wasn't, like, loser perk when you slide, because, god, sliding is too second nature in BO3. When a door is purchased, a random player is slightly moved. Well, I mean, I think we've opened basically every door in existence on this map now. Even if we're not getting crazy game-breaking cause and effect stuff, at least it's still fun, you know? Yeah, I think this is why we keep effect stacking on. I wanted to do this because, you know, someone in my comment section was like, try it without effect stacking, and I want to fulfill that request because I did say I would do it. But yeah, I think we will keep effect stacking on in the future because it just it adds a bit more to it, you know? A bit more fun. Maybe if I put illegal combos on and not effect stacking, it would have been a bit better, but I don't know. I feel like illegal combos is more fun when you have stacking because, you know, you can just get multiple broken ones back to back until it becomes completely unplayable, which is just a fun mess, you know? Chaotic. All right, what's this next one going to be? When a zombie spawns, give a random papped gun? Okay. Hey, we're getting something a bit more interesting now. Oh, and we got- <laughs> Oh no, it's when they spawn. Oh shit, we're gonna get so many. We've got the ray gun, okay. Hi, Panzer. Oh no, I'm actually screwed. How am I supposed to kill you when I can't even fire? Oh no! Oh shit, oh shit, you above. Oh, this isn't good, is it? I've gotta keep training around. Oh god, with the stun grenade bullshit. Ah. Have they stopped spawning? The marshals are on this map? Oh, that's cool. Okay, I think they've stopped spawning. I've got like a ballista. Nope, I've got the, the Nagama Collider. Oh, here we go. Any year now, I'll be able to fucking use my guns, dude. Oh, shit. I'm so boned. I'm so boned. Hyphen. Oh, I can't even shoot. I'm screwed. Ah. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm so dead, dude. It's like impossible. There are so many of them. Okay, I can kill them with the MR6s. <laughs> Get bugged, bro. Oh my god, and I just lost my bow. That's awesome. Give me a death machine. I can actually play. Holy shit. 
I love how I said, oh, there's no game breaking ones, and all of a sudden this happens and like just, just completely screws me over. Well, at least the Panzers have gone now, I think, but you know, am I losing my points? I got Samantha glitched again, dude. Oh, this happened on the fucking Revelations video. Okay, bro. This one's completely screwed me over, dude. I can't even spot. I'm dead. <laughs> I couldn't sprint because it kept giving me guns. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Pretty chaotic end to that one, but hey, about what I'd expect when I'm getting given about 500 guns in 30 seconds. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.